students as we everyone know it's very crucial time for the board students that's why vertex education is here to help you with its first video that will be i am sure that this video will be very helpful for all the board students before going in the detail of this video i want to say that please like this video subscribe this one and share with your friends for the for their benefit also so i'm here vertex education is here with the video uh, in this video i'll tell you the blueprint of the maths we have, as everyone know we have two parts of the maths basic and the standard so today in this video i will explain the blueprint of basic mathematics blueprint means chapter wise blueprint i'll let you know ki in from which chapter how many questions will come if any student hasn't prepared yet or in the confusion how we have to prepare from which chapter how many questions we have to prepare then this video will be helpful for those students so they can prepare according to this blueprint and this blueprint is based on the complete uh, pattern of the cbse all the question papers or the sample paper the cbse release so for the basic uh, basic part of the mathematics as we know the code for the basic mathematics is 241 and before going to the blueprint one more thing i want to tell you that the uh, pattern of the question paper there will be total 40 questions in the question paper there will be four sections section a which consists of one marks question section b it will consist of two marks question section c it will uh, consist of three marks question and four has four marks questions so let's start with the chapter number 1 that is real number there will be three questions from this chapter each of one marks and one question that will be of three marks so the chapter total it will become of six marks so you have to prepare this chapter according to this pattern now comes to the next polynomials polynomials it uh, there will be two questions each of one marks so one question that will be of two marks and one question is of three marks so total this chapter will be of seven marks that means it's very important chapter you have to prepare it carefully next come to the third pair of linear equation in two variables there will be one question of one marks one question is of three marks then that means total is of four marks chapter now come to the next quadratic equation from this chapter there will be only one question which will be of four marks so you have to prepare this chapter according to this uh, it will become very easy for you next uh, the chapter fifth arithmetic progression there will be one question of one marks one question is of four marks total chapter is of five marks now comes to the next triangles that is very difficult for everyone for each and every students so you can prepare this according to this that means two questions each of one marks and there will be only one question which will be of four marks so you don't you not need to waste your lots of time in this chapter preparing this chapter you can prepare only last two exercise and the terms of this chapter this chapter total in total is of 6 marks now comes to the next coordinate geometry seven chapter there will be three questions each of one marks one question is of three marks so in total it will be of six marks now comes to the next introduction to the trigonometry there will be three questions each of one marks one question is of two marks and one question is of three marks in total this chapter is of eight marks you have to prepare this chapter very carefully because it is the highest marks chapter in your board exams now comes to the next application of trigonometry there will be only one question from this chapter that will be of four marks there is only one exercise you can prepare according to the this blueprint next comes to the chapter number 10 that is circles there will be one question is of one marks two one question is of two and one question is of three marks and in total there will be a six marks questions now comes to the next constructions everybody knows only one question will be there that will be of three marks so you have you can prepare this only the second exercise now comes to the next area related to the circle there will be one question is of one marks two question uh, one question is of two marks and one question is of three marks in total it is of six marks that means it is also very important chapter 
Now comes to the next surface area and volume, thirteen chapter. There will be only one question is of four marks. So just focus on the last two exercise of this chapter number thirteen, surface area and the volume. Next is chapter fourteen. There will be one question is of one marks uh, only and one question is of four marks. In total, it is of five marks. Chapter the last. Probability the two question is of each of one marks two question each of two marks in total it is of sixteen six marks it's very easy chapter and scoring also you can prepare this chapter easily so at the last this is the complete blueprint every student can prepare according to this for the boards it may be differ uh, it may be differ one or two marks in the boards but prepare according to this uh, blueprint this will be very helpful for you and at the last of the video i want to say if any student have any inquiry related to this maths you can leave uh, in the comment box leave your topic or you can contact me also on the uh, on my page there will be the contact number thank you